Players in the past have told me that my NPCs are often stubborn. Stubborn? Maybe. What I think they're noticing is that my NPCs often have ideals, convictions, beliefs. When the players run up against these ideals, convictions, and beliefs, they meet resistance. Resistance that a simple persuasion role cannot overcome. This can create a disconnect. The rogue, a PC, wants to convince the cultist, an NPC, to betray the cult and its charismatic leader. They roll a persuasion, they get a 17, with their plus 5 bonus, it's a 22. I then describe the cultist reluctantly giving a little ground, but ultimately sticking to their principles. The rogue is confused. I mean, wasn't that a success? If this was a lock, I would have picked it. This was a problem at my table for a long time, and created a fair amount of tension in my NPC-heavy campaigns. I think it comes down to this. No argument, no matter how well-worded, should be enough to change a character's worldview, not on its own. In the same way that a combat cannot be won with a single swing of the sword, a negotiation is an exchange, one that requires a sequence of roles, often from the entire party, to find success. To sway the mind of a convicted NPC, you must be persistent, perhaps a little varied in your approach. After receiving this feedback more than once, I now reframe these scenes as skill challenges. For those of you unfamiliar, a skill challenge is a little mini-game where the party must collectively reach a certain number of successes on their skill checks before they reach a certain number of failures. I use them all the time to simulate a combat-like challenge in a non-combat scenario, and they're great for negotiations. The party wants to convince this merchant captain to ferry them across the sea free of charge? Let's do a skill challenge. On a success, the captain agrees. On a failure, they must find passage elsewhere. This not only gives stakes to the conversation and makes a victory feel earned rather than simply good dice luck, it also has the benefit of discreetly telling the party when they failed, ending the scene so the characters can't badger the NPC into oblivion. I think non-player characters with conviction make the world feel dynamic and credible. It's vital, though, that those characters don't collapse like a house of cards before a charismatic player. What have I learned? Structure your negotiations as skill challenges. It lends the scene stakes and pacing while keeping your characterizations intact. Hey, thank you so much for watching that video. Trust me, there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, if you like the channel, please consider subscribing, and you can even follow us on Twitter and Patreon. Look for the links below in the description. Thanks for watching.